So this morning started out with a flock of geese in the pond here that I was trying to get rid of and I didn't want to scare them or kill them with my shotgun. So I used my van being the nice guy and now my van's stuck down in the back there by the pond. Nightmare. Thanks to my buddy Ed at Mill Street Auto. He's here to bail me out. What a big, big upgrade from, from what? Sure is beautiful here. It's like living in a park, basically. Well, it is like living in a park. It is a park. 50 acres. So this is what happened, okay? I came down here chasing these stupid geese, and uh, my van's only two-wheel drive, even though it has knobby tracks. And it's pretty wet down here by the ravine, and. She sunk, we're almost up to the axle. What a shit show. Each time I uh, hit the gas, the rear wheels are so slippery right now, it just sinks. Thank God they got a 150 foot winch cable. Shit show. Okay, I'm back on the high and dry. Thanks to Mill Street Auto. Ed is awesome. He always bails me out when I'm in a pickle. If you're ever in a jam, Mill Street Auto will save your ass. Back on the high ground here. What a way to start the day, huh? Stupid little geese. So, anyways, this is my house. Uh, you guys know a little bit more about me, I guess. Man, that's my solar panel. We're off the grid here. We got geothermal and solar. But uh, this place is going up for sale because I'm dedicating myself to Rockville and the project. I hate to see it go, but I'm never here. I'm always down at the mill or out buying bikes or whatever. So it is what it is. It's kind of a waste. I live here by myself on 50 acres four bedroom house it's kind of a man house it's got uh, a two car garage on on, on the front two, and uh, three in the back so there's five garage doors um, basketball court uh, pond with three diving boards over here three garage doors in the back one's a double door so yep those are the diving boards the pond's about an acre killer stone walls everywhere Lighted motocross track over there, which is best investment ever made. We ride here year round at night. It's pretty awesome. Paver driveway, 30,000 square foot of pavers. About a mile of stone walls. Apple orchard, apples and peaches. Planted all the trees here. Spent 10 years working on this property, building the motocross tracks. There's a three quarter mile lighted motocross track in the back. So, there it is. If you ever hear me talk about the Kaplan compound, this is it. 50 acres, two motocross tracks, pond. It's, uh, the property's 800 feet wide by 3,200 feet deep, so it's like three quarters of a mile long. The house is 900 feet off the road. And uh, I was gonna build a main house on the other side of the pond in the clearing, which is 1,600 feet off the road, would have been halfway. This is the, the west side in Shuway. This is what I used to bring the bulldozers and excavators in. Beautiful piece of property. But like I said, uh, I'm never here. And when I built this, I was living here with my three kids and my girlfriend, but they're all gone, so it's kind of pointless. Living here by myself. So it's going up for sale. I planted these pine trees 15 years ago. This was a windrow right here. If you know what that is, it was all overgrown. We built the stone wall. The house is like a carriage house style because that's what it is. 
the cupola up on the top. You can actually sit up there. It's pretty cool. So there it is. That's, that's my uh, estate that I built for my kids. But they all moved on, so I'm going to move on too. God bless. See you at the mill.